What's up everybody? So this is a video that I have been meaning to film for you guys for so long, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I did promise you guys this video ages ago, but here it is finally. Um, this is a wardrobe tour. My wardrobe is finished and as you can see, it is like my dream room. I love this room so much. So um, yeah, let's go and I'm gonna show you through. And say hi to Muffin. All right, Muffin, you can go now. I know you're dying to leave. <laughs> go. Um, all right, so we'll start over here. So the wardrobe isn't like fully, fully complete. So I've only been in the house for like two months now. So I want to get like a really nice chandelier up here. And there's just like a few finishing pieces that aren't quite done yet. Like there's supposed to be mirrors on these wardrobe doors so that I can get this out of here. Um, but the original room that I had planned to be my closet wasn't big enough. So we had to move rooms. Uh, because I wasn't willing to give up any of my uh, cupboards that I had bought. So yeah, this will eventually go and there'll be mirrored wardrobes. Um, so basically back here, there's just like all my gym clothes and just ugly things that I don't really need to be on display. All right, so over here I have matching sets to start with. So they're random, like this one's a bit more casual and then you have ones that like are more dressy. But yeah, they're like all my little sets that I would either wear out or wear to clubs. Um, and then down here, as you can see, I have like a little jewelry pull out, which I love because this was one of my like pet peeves in my old house was that I could never find my jewelry and it was like always in a big mess. So now it's like all nice and neat. And this is like my little travel jewelry case. If you don't have one of these and you travel, even if it's just for holidays, I really recommend one. You can hang like your earrings on here and then you can hang your necklaces and stuff in here. So every weekend when I'm off to a gig, I just pick what jewelry I need and I pack it in there. And then I either like the ones that I travel with heaps, I leave in there as you can see. Um, otherwise I unpack the ones that I don't need and put them back. So on to this section, which is like one of my favorites, which girl doesn't love shoes. Um, so up there I have like my more casual sort of like my combat boots, um, like wedge shoes that I don't really wear as often. So I tried to hang the ones that I don't wear that often up the top. And then, um, these ones are all of like my ankle boots, as you can see, like my pretty ankle boots. I really love these. I don't think they're any particular brand, but they're really cool. Um, these ones are also one of my favorites, but don't really get to wear them much because I try not to wear heels to gigs. It's just so hard to jump around in. I will break an ankle one of these days doing that. Um, these are Steve Madden there, as you can see. Really, really pretty. I want to show you guys these ones because they're so extra. Look how cool they are. I got these in LA from downtown LA. They're no specific brand, but they are so cool. And I love that they have the thicker heel. Like I have these Steve Madden ones as well, but again, they're the thin heels. So they're like a little bit harder to wear, but um, yeah, these are really cute. I think I've only worn them like once or twice though, which is a bit sad. This is like my bougie section. As you can see, I have three pairs of Louboutins. If you ask me how many times I've worn them, I would probably say in total all three pairs would be under 10 times because they are so painful. So these are the Socate. Um, with Louboutins, I don't know if you have any at home, but if you don't, the bottom, it's actually painted. So as soon as you wear them, like the first time that you wear them, the bottom scrubs off. So I paid, they're quite expensive, like $200 per shoe or whatever to get this rubber sole put on. Um, now, Christian Louboutin says that that's the whole point of the shoe. Like he wants to see that it gets worn, but with these ones in particular, the Socate, because this part is so thin, 
when I wore them a few times, it actually started scratching out and thinning out so much here that I was scared that it was actually going to wreck the shoe. So yeah, I went and got that done. But look how uncomfortable they are to wear. I have to show you. I literally walk like a fucking baby calf when I wear these. Like it's so awkward. And I try and look cute in them, but let's be honest. Like that shit will break an ankle. Like I literally have to concentrate so much wearing these shoes. But as you can see, they're super cute and they make your legs look amazing. Like obviously I'm wearing pants, but yeah, they make your calves look incredible. So they're the Lubies. Um, yeah, I've got those in nude and black. And then I also have these ones. I think from memory they're called Bianca, but they're like old. Like I got these in like 2009 or something when this style of shoe was in fashion. And you know what? I'm sure it'll come back, so I'm not getting rid of them. But like how cute are they? So cute for summer. Go with so many outfits. Not that I go anywhere apart from work, but I plan to this summer. Um, this is my sneaker sort of section. So these are Steve Madden as well, and I wear the shit out of these to gigs just because they're white, they go with everything, and um, they are platforms, so they give you like a little bit more of an edge than wearing just like a plain flat sneaker. Got my white Air Forces, love my fillers. Um, these are dope. These are my Jordan 8s. I got these probably in like 2006, maybe 2005. As you can see, like, they're worn out. But they're OG, so they're really cool. Got some more Air Forces. Got these, like, last year. I've only worn them, like, once or twice. Too many colours going on there. Um, Steve Madden kicks. They're cool. And, of course, the Versace's. These are the Versace chain reactions. They do need a clean. So they've got like the chain symbol on the bottom because they're actually a collaboration of Versace and uh, two chains. But anyway, they're super cool. Then here I have all of my like ankle heels that are open toe. So up there is like the closed ankle boots and then down here is all the open toe ones. These are cool. These are really cool. Like, I just haven't seen anything like this. Got these in LA too. Um, these aren't ankle, but they just didn't fit with my boots down the bottom. But these are really cool too. Also a fave. Um, then, at the bottom, yes, I have all my high boots. I also got these in LA this year. I love these. I've only worn them, like, once, but I think they're sick. Very cool. But again, when you have something this colourful, you've got to wear something really plain to go with it. Um, yeah, standard. I think every girl needs to have a pair of thigh-high leather boots. They never go out of fashion, let's be honest. Julia Roberts rocked that shit in Pretty Woman, and, um, I've been rocking that shit ever since. So that's my shoes. Um, over here we have jackets. So I start, I've tried to colour coordinate everything, which took me quite a while, but obviously worth it. So I have all my denim jackets at the front, and then... We have, we go into like grey, then like brownie, green colour, pink, red, yellow, as you can see, and then all my black. Over here are just like all my t-shirts. Um, I start, with, like this is colour coordinated separately because they're all my crops. And then like all my long t-shirts, the colour coordination starts again, and then it starts again for the long sleeve tees, which, oops, going to knock my TV over, which I love because I find that I was wearing like three t-shirts on rotation in my old house because they were all folded and like shoved into this wardrobe and I couldn't find anything. So now that they're all on display, I can wear a new t-shirt every day, which is awesome. Now this is my makeup station slash getting ready. So when I get ready for a gig, when I am in Melbourne, um, yeah, everything is done in this room. So all my makeup is here. I love this desk. I got this desk from Amart. So I think I got this from Amart. No, I, I did get this from Amart and I think it was about $380. But I absolutely love it. It was, you know, when you have something in mind and then you're trying to find it and you don't know if you're going to find it. I went to so many furniture shops and I found it. I love it because I love the finish. Um, it does get quite dusty because of the finish. Like you can see it a lot, but that's okay because it forces me to keep it clean. It is also swivel. 
so I can't swivel it because I've got so much heavy stuff on it but if you wanted to like it is a swivel desk which I think is really cool and I loved that this part was separate to this part so that I could have my TV on here um yeah I play obviously like music videos or whatever when I'm in here getting ready and sometimes my friends come in and we have a drink while we're getting ready so yeah very lit room love that and what I've tried to do lately because I do travel a lot is I've got a completely separate makeup bag so it used to be such a struggle like packing unpacking every week so now I have like a completely separate makeup case and I just don't touch that and when I'm ready to pack I just put that straight into my bag and I don't touch anything from here which is really good unless I want like a specific lipstick and also I just want to show you this little lipstick thing it's really cool I was looking for one of these for so long couldn't find a good one found this in downtown LA and it was a very awkward thing to bring home but really wanted it so here we are all right now this section is like my main clubbing slash DJ outfit section again I've color coordinated as you can see I've got like yeah just all sorts of like little tops um and things that I would wear to my gigs um little rompers just anything yeah that's a dress or a top that I would wear to gigs so this is the section that I probably use the most and then up here I've got like shirts and like fancier tops that I would probably wear to like if I was going to brunch with my girlfriends or to a wedding or something and then I've got like shirts and stuff flannels back here as well um, up here we have all my hoodies uh, except for my crop hoodies they're all in there I just didn't like how it looked like the crop hoodies were like up to there and then it just didn't look good so they're away in there um, and then down here we have my little show off section my little designer section um, it's not all designer but it's the stuff that I like to have on display that like looks pretty I also do have um, another section though with bags fuck where is it why am I such a lost fuck oh yeah it is in here so I have another section in here that has like other bags and stuff that I don't necessarily that didn't suit the display and all of my hats as you can see um then here hold on I have to show you this bag how cute is this bag this is also Steve Madden I just got this last month it's like a little bag then you can wear it as like a little um what do you call bum bag sort of thing and then it's got a long long chain in here as well that you can hang around your body that's super cute so in here we have all my sunnies it's not exactly displayed the way that I want because these things aren't wide enough for some of my sunnies so that's why they've had to be like on an angle and stuff but um yeah I have a sunglass obsession for sure but you can never say that I don't have a style that I want to wear. So a few of my sunnies are missing because they're like in my car or downstairs. But yeah, that's usually full. Here I just have my outfits that I plan to wear for the weekend hung. So I'm trying to get more organized these days since I have such a beautiful wardrobe. So I try and like pick at least a day or two before the weekend what I'm planning to wear. This still might change, but at least I have like somewhat of an idea and a backup in case I run out of time. Um, and then over here we have all my pants and my shorts. So my shorts I've hung up all on clipped hangers and skirts. And again, they're color coordinated. And then my pants actually come out so I can look and see what pants I want. Still color coordinated. And then all my black pants, which is a lot. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, apart from the decor. So, I went with the pink theme, obviously, being a wardrobe. I wanted it to be girly and pretty. And I didn't, I only got this rug like maybe two weeks ago because I was like looking for the perfect colored and size rug. And I got this one from Spotlight. This and that are both from Kmart. And they're amazing. And they're so soft. And they obviously look really pretty. So, yeah, this is just like a little section where either friends can hang or I can sit down and put my shoes on and then obviously look in the mirror and see how fly I'm looking. So that's it from me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my wardrobe. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.